Hey everybody and welcome back. Certainly glad you could join me today. In this episode, we are going to look at how to do this, how to move our text screen onto the right hand side and format it differently. Before I get started, I want to say a huge thank you to everyone for subscribing and hitting that notification icon. That really helps me out. And of course, an even bigger thank you to my patrons and members. Your names are going to be running across the bottom of the screen as we speak. So let's get started then. So all we need to do is come into the screens.rpy file of our project and come down to the say screen. And this is the screen that controls how our text is displayed on the screen. And this is essentially where all the changes we need to make are. Now, the first thing we want to do is change our background image to one that we might have created ourselves. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do control X on that. And I'm actually going to put it up here in the actual say screen. And I'm just simply going to say add, which is going to display our image. And then all I need to do is just show the file like that. And then when we run our file now, we can see that our chat UI has appeared on the right hand side here. So we've got our background. Now we need to move the text and format it so that it looks right to appear in our screen. So we're going to close this down and we're going to do exactly that. So what we want to do is we're actually going to make some fundamental changes to the way that this works. And we're going to create a scrolling mechanism. So we're going to go side and going to in brackets put R. So it's going to create a side scroll on the right hand side, but we're not actually going to uh, do that. We're not going to use the scroll bar. We're going to turn it off. So we're going to change the area. And that needs to be one by one. And then if we actually look at the size of our chat box, I think it's probably somewhere in the region of about 300 wide. So that's what we're going to do. Have that set to 300. And then in total size, I think it's probably about 500 deep. And we can always tweak those values later if we need to. So we're going to say viewport ID. And we're just going to say dialog box like that. And then we're going to just tab these things so they appear inside that. We need to say white initial is going to be 1.0. And we're going to say draggable. That's not how you spell draggable. Is false. Mouse wheel is all lowercase it's going to be true and page keys is also true so we can so that the scroll bar is actually going to appear we have to use the mouse button the mouse wheel to scroll up and down or we can use the page keys up or down which is ideal so now we just need to add a v box in there and inside that v box we are going to add these two values here So we're going to keep this like this. And now all we need to do is move the values of our window down. So we're going to change the X align to X pause, and we're going to set it to about. And if we look at the background file that we've created it's about 1550 in X position. And it's about 250 in Y position. And we don't need to worry about the X and Y position and size and such. So as you can see, our text is now appearing in the right place, more or less. So now we just need to format it so that it's actually going to appear correctly. So we've got format there. What we can do is we can actually change the formatting of our text. So we can change the size to be something a little bit more sensible. So we can say that that's going to be 18 instead. And we can say that that needs to be 16. And now if we keep our window open, we can actually press shift R. And then when we make changes to the file, it will actually change this. So we've actually got that in pretty much the, we're close to the right place, but we need to make some adjustments. 
So I think this needs to come across to 15, 80, another 30 pixels. And then I think we need to come maybe to 270 there. So if we save that and then we come back and check on our file, that's a much more sensible position. And we've applied a color to that white so that when we come back, we can see that that's now appearing as white. So that's part one sorted. Now the value for the dialogues, as you can see, the say dialogue, GUI text properties. So we actually need to change these values and we could go back to our GUI file, which would be absolutely fine. But really we're, um, we're in a good place that we can just pop these values in here and we've got these values there. So we can actually change the XPOS. So we know that the XPOS is going to be somewhere in the region of about 1600. And the reason we do that is because there's probably padding inside this window or we might want to move them around again afterwards. And then X size, we really don't need to worry about that too much, but we're going to put in, we can look at our image file here and we can see that it's 1550 to about 1900 ish. So we're looking in the region of about 300 for our total text window width. So we come back to our text and we're going to just say 300 there and then Y pause. I'm going to change that so that that's about 320. So we're actually going to set these values to X pause zero because I forgot that they're relative to the V box and not relative to the screen. So we're going to change that and then X size. I'm going to change that to somewhere in the region of maybe more like 200 and just see what happens now. I've already formatted the text. As you can see, I've applied size 22 to the ID of who and to the idea of what I'm applying size 18 and they're both white. So theoretically, if we come in here now, you can see that our text has um, come in quite nicely and it's white and obviously 200 is a bit too narrow. So I'm going to try adding a little bit more to that value here. I'm going to try maybe 260. And that looks like a much more sensible size and then we can restart and as you can see it just works as the normal text screen but it's on the right hand side and the text is formatted differently and you can tweak those values as much as you want you could add an extra space in there if you wanted to by coming down to this section where it says here and you could just apply a new line so you could say plus backslash n there and then we come back in and as you can see it's now added a space in there quite nicely and that's really all there is to that i hope you found that useful let me know what you think and i'll see you in the next one bye bye